middle. This will be the pivot. And that's the only kind he shot. Wrap around the bird for Magic Scores. Magic. Keeps it. Magic's got Kiki to the left, Bird to the right. He gives the Bird back to Magic. And here goes Johnson. And Magic Johnson is Magic Johnson. Okay, he does magical things. Congratulations. <laughs> Magic's in great shape. Dribble drive all the way. Man, up and down. Out to Magic, and the Lakers are running. Here comes Johnson all the way. No other person in the 7 billion people on this earth can offer. They're not Magic Johnson. All right, that is Magic Johnson. Magic, the magic man. Jordan trying to shake off Starks. Oh, what a move by Jordan! <laughs> Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Uh, at Michigan State when Magic was real young. Magic yeah. was probably 14 years old when I met him. And really? You know, and he played with us. You know, so he was playing with the pros, you know, at 14. And... And you knew. Oh, man. He was special then. He understood how to win. He was all about winning. Um, he made people around him better. He made people around him better at 14. So right. his potential was scary. And I think he reached his full potential in uh, having a super career he had uh, you know, as an NBA player. Guys, just quick off the top of your head, that you compete against at the point guard that you felt you guys were so great that just didn't get their just due? I would say in, in the 80s for, for a short period of time, I, thought, cheeks. I thought Mark Price mm -hmm. had a run in this league for about two years or so that was just about as good as anybody. Um, you d definitely Mo Cheeks, uh, Gus Williams. I have one for you. Tiny Archibald was still, DJ? you know, at his... At Dennis. His, you know, Dennis. Gen Dennis. Yeah, but, Dennis. But, but saying all that, Saying all that, there there was two. It, it, none of them were like magic. Right. Not none of us. Or you. None of us were like magic. It, the the eighties, I thought we came in and we had original styles. You know, we brought our originality to the game. Magic came in and it was like something we had never seen. This guy's a freak of nature, man. <laughs> be able to be 6'9 and handle the ball the way he can handle it. Magic Johnson had tremendous basketball intelligence, like a great base runner knowing as he comes around first base why this can be a triple and not a double. He just sees the whole series of possibilities in front of him. I can remember getting hit in the head on purpose and practice just to show me that I can get the ball to you if you want it. Open up that eye on the side of your head. He brought the playground back into basketball, high five and jumping up and down, enjoying everything, wanting to get the people involved in the game. It's just refreshing to have anybody that comes along with that type of enthusiasm, that love for the game. And you, you can't help but get caught up in that. He had to have fun. It's got to be fun to him. It couldn't just all be work and drudgery and being serious. I mean, he was the most serious, fun person I have ever been around in my life. Irvin, being the point guard, knew that he had to conduct that team. When they were down, he had to psych them up. When they were too high, he had to bring them down. He was really a coach on the court. Magic Johnson was different, and it was evident and clear when he had the ball that things were going on that people hadn't seen. He could do anything on a basketball court. He could be a power forward. He could be the world's tallest point guard. He could be the world's shortest seven-foot center. If you go to the worst seat in the arena, there's only a few that reach that high. 
you know, Magic Johnson reaches all the way to that top row. Tell me a better show in the history of basketball than Showtime. One of the mm. greatest shows coming up in the 80s was watching anybody for the Lakers rebound the basketball. Ooh. The first thing, you, the minute you saw yes. it in Magic's hands, all of a sudden you saw a dude sprint to the wings because it was somebody on one wing, it was probably Worthy. It was somebody on the other <laughs> wing, it was probably Byron Scott. It was Michael Cooper trailing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that kind of stuff. So what I'm talking about is there's certain things when we talk about team basketball, and you look at a guy that is literally the floor general. He's the personification of a floor general. He's an architect. He's an orchestrator. And this dude is pushing the ball up the floor and universally recognized as, as arguably the greatest passer of the basketball we have ever seen, even though being 6'9 certainly helped him because he was usually looking over defenders. In the end, his ability to push the ball up the floor, to run an offense, to make so many other people better i can't say enough Ma michael jordan told me mm. magic johnson is the greatest point guard he's ever seen in the history of basketball kareem abdul jabbar has six rings i think four or five i think five of them came with magic five kareem abdul jabbar had mm. one before he got with magic Playing alongside other Hall of Fame players like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and James Worthy, Magic could have blended into the scenery and let his teammates run the show. Instead, he had the greatness to stand out among those players and established himself as the leader of the team. His size, mobility, and ball handling skills made him one of the most complete players ever. Proof of this is the fact that he's second only to Oscar Robertson in triple doubles. Of the 15 point guard related stats and analytics we looked at as mentioned in the outset, Magic is top 20 in 13 of them and top 10 in 8. On top of that, he won 5 championships, is a 3 time MVP and 2 time finals MVP. He's number 5 all time in total assists, number 1 in assists per game for the regular season and the playoffs, number 5 in assists percentage, number 3 in offensive rating, number 1 in offensive rating for the playoffs, and has the 5th most win shares for the playoffs in NBA history. Those achievements are amazing. I'm so happy that every stage of my career I won championships, high school, college, NBA, and then the main thing is making my teammates better, you mm -hmm. know, coming down, man. Wasn't nothing like coming down on that fast break, looking left, throwing right, you know, and right. hearing the crowd scream. Magic accumulated three MVP awards, three finals MVP awards, 10 All-NBA first team selections, five championships, and 12 All-Star appearances. Magic Johnson is fifth all-time in total assists, not bad for what most would define as a short career, 18th all-time in steals, and first all-time in assists per game. Magic Johnson had an amazing career and is perhaps the greatest point guard of all time. I believe I'm the second best point guard of that era, mm -hmm. but Magic Johnson was the best point guard, in my opinion, to ever play.